In a previous lesson, I talked about how to use git cherry pick to pluck a commit out of a repository branch and then apply it to another branch. It's a very handy tool to grab just what you need without pulling in a bunch of changes you don't need or, more importantly, you don't want. This time, the situation is pretty much the same. We have a commit we want to pull out of a branch and apply to a different branch. But our solution will be different. Instead of using git cherry pick, we will create a patch file containing the changes and then import that into the branch. Git will replay the commit and add the changes to the repository as a new commit. Let's hop on the laptop and see how that works. We're going to do this using a command called git format patch. So what is git format patch? It exports the commits as patch files which can then be applied to another branch or a cloned repository. The patch files represent a single commit, and then git replays that commit when you import the patch file. Git format patch is the first step in a short process to get changes from one copy of the repository to the other. The old style process when git was used locally only without a remote repository was to email the patches to each other, and that's how this feature came about. This is really handy if you only need to get someone a single commit without the need to merge branches and the overhead that goes on with that. So you may not use this regularly if it's not part of your workflow. However, it could come in handy if you just need to quickly grab the changes from a single commit and give them to somebody that is maybe right now outside of the project or not part of your remote repository. So we're going to first create a patch file. I am using a repository called the commits and this is a repository I used as part of my Majingo Git courses. You can find out more about those at majingo.com slash git. And let's take a look at our branches. Right now, I have the experimental features branch checked out. This experimental features branch has an important change in it that I want to bring to a feature branch I have going, which is called my new feature right here. This feature branch is going to be merged into the develop branch. And eventually that develop branch will be merged into master. So I want to make sure that I only include non-experimental safe changes. And because of that, I don't want to do a merge because I'd like to not pull in all the other things that are half-baked and would potentially mess up my production path branches. All right, so here's the latest when I run git log. We have a bunch of changes here. And you can see that the second one listed, it says it's a nice change that I'd like to include on production. This commit is the one I want to create a patch file for and apply to my other branch. Okay, so we do git format patch, and then the name of the branch against which we want to compare. So this is going to be our uh, destination branch or our target branch. And we want to have git compare our current branch, which is the experimental features branch, against this other branch. And from there, we'll get the, uh, the differences as patch files. And we do minus O, patches. And this is going to tell uh, git format patch to save the patch files in a directory called patches relative to my current working directory. I'm in the project root, so it'll just be a directory in the project root. And I do this because I like to keep this nice and tidy. If I uh, didn't put in uh, minus O patches, then uh, Git would just save those patches to the current working directory. So I want to keep things a little tidier. So I'll put that there. So Git is going to use format patch and compare the my new feature branch against the current branch, which is the experimental features and then create a patch file for every commit that is in experimental features, but not in my new feature. Okay, we can see that there are a bunch of patches here. And the one that I really want is this one, number 20, a nice change that I'd like to include on production. The patches are saved in the patches directory and they are numbered sequentially followed by a shortened version of the commit message and then dot patch to designate it as a patch file. Let's look at the guts of one of these. So we'll say vim patches 0020, and we'll open that up. 
And as you can see here, it uh, kind of looks like an email. Well, that's because all patch files are formatted to look like the Unix mailbox format. The body of the email is a diff that shows which files have changed and what those changes are. And using this file, Git will recreate the commit in our other branch. In this situation, I don't need all of these patch files. I'm really only interested in one single commit, which is number 20. So let's improve this git format patch command so it only creates a patch for the one commit that we do want to apply. Looking back at the git log, I know that the change I want is this one here, and I'm going to copy that hash so I have it. And that's going to allow me now to create a patch just for that commit. So to do that, I do git format patch minus one, the hash, and then the place where I want to save that, which would be patches. So what's happening here is we're telling git format patch to fetch the commit with the hash that we specify. And then the minus one says that, you know, this is not a range. We want to do basically the range of just this single commit. When we do that, we get dropped into our patches directory, a single patch file for this nice change that I would like to include on production. And now if I look at that one, it looks exactly like what we had before. It has the a hash here from the date, the subject, and then the diff that specifies exactly what has changed in this commit. All right, so let's get out of that. And now we are ready to apply this to the other branch. To apply the patch to another branch, we use a command called git am. And this is a command that allows you to apply patches to the current branch. So let's go ahead and look at our branches. And we want to check out the my new feature branch, because that is the branch we want to apply to. A nice thing about git am is that it will replay the commit for us so we don't have to add any files or do the commit on our own. It's not going to just stage the changes it will actually replay the entire commit for us. The name of the command git am is a little strange in the context of how we are using it, but don't worry, the result is exactly what we want. It is actually for applying uh, mailbox items as patches, and that's sort of where this command name comes from, but it's exactly what we want. So let's apply it, and I've already checked out my uh, feature branch, my new feature branch. So we are on my new feature, and now we can apply it. So one thing to note is I am working on the same repository on the same computer. So when I switch branches, you can see here that the patches directory is there. So that comes with me because patches is still included as an untracked file here or an untracked directory. And uh, so it just comes with me as I change the branches. Because we refined our git format patch command, we only have one patch file in the patches directory, which is the one we want, and we are now ready to apply it. So to do that, I do git am the patch that I want to apply, and, and I hit enter. And I get a nice confirmation saying that it is applying this patch, it gives me the commit message there. And now if we do a git log, you can see that our commit is here as the latest item in the history of the repository. And one thing to note also is that the hash for this commit has changed. And of course it has changed because the context in which the commit has, cre has been created is different. We're in a different working tree, a different environment, there, is, uh, there are probably other changes there that influence the contents of the commit. Therefore, it can has to have a different hash. So that's another way you can isolate and move changes from one Git branch to another. 
For another option, check out my lesson on Git Cherry Pick. Also a really nice way of plucking changes out of a repository and applying them to another branch. For all of my Git courses, articles, and lessons, go to majingo.com slash git. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.